Welcome to part 19 of our Hibernate for Java programmers or Hibernate full course for Java programmers. If you've come this far, you've done real well. Thumbs up to you. And don't give up because it's going to be a bit challenging at this point. Now, in tutorial 18, we inserted a new location. It was very easy. Now we are going to insert a new user. So when we are trying to insert a new user, we have the fields in the user uh, entity uh, in the user table at this point, if we go to check, sorry, let, let me just clear this. So in the user table, we have ID, email, first name, last name, and location ID. All right, that is fine. Step one, we should launch the application and check the columns in the user table. Notice that there is a column in the user table called location ID. Take note of that. Open the SQL data file. In the code to insert a user, change the location ID to location ID. The reason you need to do this is because this field called location ID created by the, 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 the created automatically for us is managed by Hibernate. So we can't actually insert something in it from the REST controller. We can't insert something there uh, from our REST controller. So we are going to create our own field that we are going to use. And we are going to create that field, we are going to call it location ID, everything lowercase, no underscore. So let's first go to the data.sql file. So take note of the procedure. We want to change this automatic, automatic field that is created by Hibernate. We want to change it so that we make Hibernate use our own field so in SRC main resources, we go to data.sql. So we are going to open data.sql and change those fields. Uh, so let's just open these three, test editor. So we are trying to insert a user. So this user, so we are going to change this location ID. We are going to change it. Everything is going to be lowercase so that this is what we are managing it. We are managing it by ourselves this time so that we'll be able to insert something in there. All right. Now open the user model and add a new field with the same name, right? Yeah. So we are trying to take control. That is how it is. If you if you if you are a good programmer, you know when to take control over from the system when the system is always creating automated codes. So in this case, we are trying to take some control away from the system. So I'm going to create a private field, a private uh, integer field with the same name of the one in the database at this time. So you see we've created it. Now in the, okay, uh, so add getters and setters for this, uh, for this field. So we are going to add the getters and the setters so go to source and say add getters and setters generate. So the idea is that we will use our own field for or we'll force Hibernate to use our own field to do mapping instead of using creating a field on its own. So we've added a new field, added the getters and setters in the join column now. In the join column, we are going to change the location ID to, to now tell it that the join column in the um, in the join column, yeah, join column, yeah, here. We, we are going to change, tell, tell it that the join column now will be the column we created. So actually, we are taking over to tell it the join column is going to be the column that we created. So, also, we are going to say insertable false and updatable false. So, so now, when you use a join column, uh, Hibernate is also going to create a join column that you cannot work with. So that join column, we are not interested in it. It's a bit confusing, and whatever join column it creates, uh, we are not going to work with it. So we are going to say insertable equal to false and updatable equal to false. All right, so <clears throat> so this is what we have. Um, yeah, so so 
so far so good. So at this point, we now open the service and now add the 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 the, the code to insert a location in the service in the in the user service. So let's go to user service. So at this point, I'm going to close everything, close all. Let's open user service and then write the code to insert a location. To insert a user, I mean. So I'm going to say public void um, is update user. Why did I say update user here? Hmm. So it actually should be insert user. So I'm going to call it insert user user user. So <clears throat> that is how it goes. So I'm going to now say user repository dot save. Save user. That is fine. So you can see. All right. So this is what we have. All right. Um, so the next thing is to go to the controller and write the save methods or the insert new, the add new for new user. So let's go to user controller and write the add new for new user. Now make no mistake about this. If you miss out anything, try to go back and try to make sure you understand how it flows. So the mapping is going to be post mapping and the post mapping is going to be the post mapping is going to be at um, slash users slash now the, the beginning slash I don't think is necessary but let's just leave it slash users slash slash users slash what um, add new right so I think the first one may not be necessary or may be necessary we leave the first one so public public uh, void because when you add a new look a new user you you don't return nothing public void add user and user user at this point you have this is where we are all right so we now call the service the add new service uh, to add to, to add this new user. So you have user service dot, uh, dot add new, add dot, I think user service dot add. So uh, let's see. So have user service dot what? Is it dot, is it dot insert user? So I actually want it to be add user, not insert user. So user service dot, add user user so change it to add user uh, or the first name to be the first one to be on the score uh, to be lowercase all right so this is where we are we've written the code to add user uh, it's pretty straightforward in my website it's laid out so if you miss out anything just copy and paste it rewind the video to make sure you understand we are now going to launch this application and try to add a new user and see what we have. Hopefully it's going to go perfectly well. So if we succeed in adding a new user, then you'll figure out that, uh, that the, the adding a new post is going to be also easy. Just follow the procedure, convert the ID fields to your own ID fields and add the getters and the setters for this ID field, change the join column uh, to this ID field you, you are adding, of course, you also change the, the database initialization query to use this new ID field you created. So at this point, we want to insert a new user. So if I go to, if we come here and we run this, of course, we need to re-log in again and we run this user. You can see that we have, it's using our, we force it to use our own location ID, which does not have an underscore. Make, make sure you understand that. And now we want to, the easiest way to add a new user is first to go to advanced rest clients and we go to users, right? Users, add new, add new. 
and uh, users, user one, user one. Let's select a user first, and then uh, we use it to build our own uh, our own JSON. So, but now we don't. I don't really like this. So, anyway, let me just copy this. So we are going to use it to build a body uh, to insert user. So users slash add new. So we have in add new. We want to now put the body of the request of the of the post request. Change this to post and go to the body. Select everything. Delete. Control V. Now this is what we have. Now take note that the location ID is the location ID we can manage. Okay. Uh, so, but if you are inserting a user, you need to make sure that the location ID is existing. So let's insert at location two. Okay, location ID of two. Okay, so the user now, let me call it Achilles, and the last name is Hercules. Hercules, and uh, 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 the, the, the email. The email is going to be Achilles at, at Hercules.com. That's the email. So let's hold our breath and try to install this and make sure and I hope it's going to work. So I'm going to click. Uh, so IDs for this class will be manually assigned before calling save. So, so yeah, so at this point you have ID already existing so we are violating the constraint so we need to select a new, use a new user id so we can't use one we can't use two we can use three so let's try to use four so same so it also says ids for this field okay so i know where it is coming from oh uh, yeah so this we need to specify in the in the user controller we need to specify request body at this point all right, so we specify request body. It's coming from the request body at request body. All right, so control shift O. Um, am I missing out anything? Oh, uh, no. Users add new. So let's relaunch this application and let's just go again. So I've relaunched this application and let's go again. Let me check. Somebody is trying to reach me. All right, so let's just reach. So when, once you did not specify the request body, then it's going to give you an error message. So let's see what we have. So hopefully it's going to start. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to go to H2 database to check what users we have. And then when we insert a new one, we make sure it's inserted. So if I go to the H2 database and I go to user, of course, I'm going to reconnect again. I'm going to user and we check. We have three users. I want to insert Achilles, Hercules, Achilles at Hercules at gmail.com. So we use this Achilles at Hercules at gmail.com, which is our ID of four. And insert in location two. I'm going to send, send. Now it worked. 200 OK. So it inserted. So if I go back to H2 console and I run it, you can see Achilles at Hercules.com and it's at location two, right? That is fine. And if you also select the users, it's going to understand that that location corresponds to the location two. So it's going to give us, okay, location ID, that is fine. All right, so we've succeeded in inserting a user. I'd like to recommend you insert a couple of users more and try to understand exactly how it works. I'd like to thank you for viewing. viewing. We moved to the next point where now we are going to insert a new post. It's also going to be very easy.